Hello, welcome to Painted Forest Art. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a design that combines a couple of pieces of Art Nouveau jewelry. Uh, and it's going to look like that. And those pieces are going to be on top of this purple glass, which I'm pretty excited about. I think it looks really neat. Um, and I'll talk some more about Art Nouveau, um, and especially Art Nouveau jewelry um, in the rest of the video. Uh, but first is to enlarge the sketch to the size of the glass. So right now I'm just putting down my ruler lines to figure out where everything should go. So unfortunately something happened to the video of me finishing the sketch of this painting. Um, so unfortunately you don't get to see that. So let's start painting instead. I'm going to start painting with the forwardmost layer because this is regular painting, not reverse painting. I feel like metal is a great medium for the Art Nouveau style because it can easily take the sinuous lines that are so common. Other people must have thought so too because there was quite a bit of beautiful jewelry created for a relatively short-lived movement. This painting is a combination of two pieces of Art Nouveau jewelry. I liked the framing of this piece, uh, but wanted something inside of it, and I always love trees and plants, so I chose this twisty design for the middle. Alright, so now I am reverse painting. I'm on the back of the first pane of glass, so I'm going to do the black outline of the second layer. Alright, so now I'm starting to do the reverse painting on the back of the first pane of glass. And I don't know what you're listening to right now, besides this, but I have the hokey pokey stuck in my head for some reason. So, you know, of all the things. All right, so there is the reverse painting about done. I might need a second coat. Um, and I'm debating painting around the edges, we'll see, but the reverse painting itself is pretty well done. So now I have the back side uh, painted and I'm going to do the outline uh, of the gold on the top layer. and literally just realized that I need to paint the leaves on the top layer. That's silly of me. Now I'll just wait for the leaves to dry and then I can do the black outlines over all of it, the leaves and the gold part. All right, 
right, so now I'm going to start painting the first layer on the stained glass itself. So now I'm going to paint the green, the greenery onto these tree bush things. So I'll put a second coat on that and then I'll be done with this layer of the stained glass painting. For two weeks. <laughs> no, um, with most of them I start with a design and then pick the glass. Well, I like for it. That's why you know what to do immediately. <laughs> yeah, because I've already got a design picked out. Mm -hmm. So I had thought about adding a, another layer to the piece, uh, to the back of the purple stained glass um, to shine through only in certain lights. And so I decided on this viney uh, sort of texture. So I need my light box. Unfortunately, I mixed the paint several days ago, and it's gotten kind of sludgy. But unfortunately, I don't have any more enamel paint thinner. I've ordered it, but it hasn't come yet. So, I will just have to deal with it as best I can for now. So now that I've got all the layers done, I just need to build the frame. Welcome back, and thanks for sticking with me to see how this piece turned out. Um, I really like this one. I love how the depth really comes out with all of the different layers, and I'll show better pictures in a minute. Uh, the overall shape kind of reminds me a little bit of a heraldic crest with the sort of shield shape, um, which makes me think that um, I might design a made-up heraldic crest for the fun of it one of these days. We'll see. Alright, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please help me by subscribing, and as always, let me know in the comments below how you show your creative side. Thank you so much. Bye!